Hello once again, everyone, Original Blood Ace, and first of all, you might, you're gonna notice my voice is probably gonna sound a little different, at least from now on, because I got a new headset after the other one died, uh, so my voice might sound a little bit different. Now, as for this video, sit down, grab some popcorn, because this is going to take a while. This is probably gonna be a 20 to 30 minute rant slash discussion video because we got so much shit to go over because today we had news come out from nintendo that they are now going into the mobile business no i do not mean a nintendo phone i mean we will be seeing nintendo games on ipads and fucking smartphones <sighs> i don't even know if I'm going to remember to say everything that I want to say in this video. There's so much moronicness, if that's even a word, that whatever, let's just get into it. Nintendo and DENA, I don't know if it's pronounced DENA, DENA, whatever, form a business and capital alliance to develop game apps featuring Nintendo IPs for smart devices. Ah, you know what this means, right? We're going to get Flappy Kirby on iPad, on phones. We're going to get free-to-play Legend of Zelda iPad edition. We're going to get microtransaction Mario games where the power-ups cost you $2.99. This is all going to happen. So, ah, Leveraging the strength of Nintendo's intellectual property IP and game development skills in combination with DENA's world-class expertise in mobile games. There's no expertise in mobile games. Fuck you. Both companies will develop and operate new game apps based on Nintendo's IPs, including its iconic game characters, for smart devices. <sighs> The alliance is intended to comp er, complement Nintendo's dedicated video game systems business and extend Nintendo's reach into the vast market of smart device users worldwide, which you realize you still don't realize that these whole smartphone shit is a fad and it will die out and it will not last forever. Actually, before I continue on, isn't it funny how things have kind of become reversed? Sony was a huge company with, you know, different divisions everywhere, and they were spread all over the place, all over the market, different markets here and there, with Sony films, with, you know, uh, phones and computers and all this other shit. And now they're closing down all these divisions, and they're going to become Nintendo in the sense of being an only a game company, while Nintendo is experimenting and expanding into markets that they should be paying attention to, uh, seeing as Sony fucking failed in. But anyway, um, where do I even want to continue? Let's, let's just move along here to a different story. I got a multiple different topics here. Let's talk about this. Nintendo also revealed, or you want to, new hardware in development, which is codenamed NX. Jointly develop and operate a new membership service that, uh, encompasses smart devices and dedicated video game consoles, or video game systems. <clears throat> so first of all, it seems that NX is an actual new platform, is a, um, like a console. Personally, I think, and first of all, we're not going to see anything on this until, or any news on it until next year, probably E3 2016, which, to me, I think this is going to be the next handheld console, the spiritual success, or the successor to the 3DS, um, which if that is the case, then I was right once again. However, I don't give a shit at this point about any of Nintendo's products. Because after I'm done getting all the Wii U games that I'm interested in this year, then I'm done. My 20 years of gaming, of being a gamer, will come to an end. I want off the gaming train, because gaming no longer exists. Because this, today, all this no stories here, this is the beginning of the end for Nintendo. And I've seen so many people saying, this is a great thing. Hooray, Nintendo's going to get money again. Fuck you, you moronic buffoons. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Go be a gelatinous tapeworm somewhere that no one gives a shit about you. Anyway. So, 
even if Nintendo were to say, oh, this NX handheld console, if it is a handheld, it's going to launch with a new Metroid, a new F-Zero, a new uh, Zelda, a new Mario, and so forth and so on, I'd be like, I don't give a shit, it's still not good enough. You could, you could launch it with a hundred of your best franchises. The minute, Nintendo, that you decided to put your stuff on other platforms is the minute you decided, well, we saved the gaming industry, we're the ones that can take it out. And for some reason, you're choosing to end the gaming industry. Or at least severely cripple it. Severely. But anyway, uh, we don't know whether it's a home console, a portable, I already said this, or the fusion of both, whatever. Uh, but uh, what else do we got here? Nintendo and DENA's membership service will replace Club Nintendo, so we kind of found out what will be repla or re uh, replacing Club Nintendo. Although, it's apparently something that will work via iPhone, iPad, Android devices, uh, PC, and consoles. So, it seems to be where you could get discounts by buying Nintendo games. It's kind of like the deluxe digital promotion, but you can do it via your smartphone and iPad and stuff. And frankly, if that's all it is, is discounts on games without actually getting any kind of rewards, whether it's posters or cards or stamps or whatever, you know, then this new service is already destined to be a complete fuck-up and a waste of time. Because who's going to keep buying digital games just to get, you know, five bucks off a game? Not going to help much. Not going to help much at all. I really, I just, I can't fucking fathom why Nintendo, of all people, would finally decide to pull the biggest, stupidest mistake of their entire fucking history by joining into the iPad and iPhone thing. I get it. Wii U hasn't been, you know, the best sales in the world. But maybe, as some people are saying, that it was the investors pushing Iwata and whatnot. But... Even if it were, even if that were the case, that's not a reason to do such a dramatic change. And I've talked to a few different people um, about this subject. And for example, one of my friends, Stephen, you might remember him. He did a Mario Kart video with me once before on OBA Games. Um, and he, I, I don't know when, but he has apparently become a casual gamer because he was just like, I told him about this, and he was saying. Uh, Man, if I could buy Pokemon on the phone, I would. And I was just like, the fuck are you talking about? Get the fuck out of here. But, and that was also, uh, when I got my headset, I went over to EB Games. And I was talking with the guys there about this. And they thought it was good that Nintendo's going with iPhones and everything. And I was just like, what is with the world? Why are there so many morons? I didn't say that to their face. I was just thinking. And I was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? How many people in this planet have a sense of common sense? A sense of common sense, does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's move on here to some other stories that are all related here. Nintendo President Iwata says he never ruled out making games for smartphones. Hold your bloody horses, Iwata. Hold your horses. He says... Uh, of course, Nintendo will utilize smart devices as communication media for Nintendo IP, in addition, so that our uh, consumers will be closely connected with them. Yeah, fuck you, you're not going to have any consumers left. We will deploy a game business which takes advantage of Nintendo's IPs. Quite a few of you must be wondering why Nintendo, which has never deviated from its cautious stance in regard to the possibility of deploying its game business on smart devices, has now changed its policy. Please note, however, that I was not dismissing the idea of making games for smart devices per se, as I stated at the January 2014 Corporate Management Policy Briefing that a development team of Nintendo would create a smart device application, and also, or, and please also note that I had not ruled out the possibility of making games when we use them on these devices. Except if we look back just a bit more into the past, before the January 2014, or maybe it was after, I can't remember now when, you were asked, when could we see, or is it possible, <clears throat> excuse me, is it possible we could see Nintendo's IPs or products on other, uh, on non-Nintendo platforms? And what was it you said, Iwata? What was it? What was it? Oh, that's right. You said, over my dead little body. 
What happened to that, you fucking liar? You absolute disgrace of a human being? You fucking plebeian phlegm? You little bitch? Huh? Exactly. Exactly. All your corporate talk. Nothing but corporate talk. I can't believe I've defended you before, you oughta. I've said, oh yeah, he's made mistakes, everyone makes mistakes. This, this isn't a mistake. No, mistake's not a strong enough word to describe what Nintendo's done here. They have literally decided to take themselves out as a company. 125 years. If, oh, fuck, I can't believe I forgot his name. The former Nintendo president, Yamanuchi, if he was still alive, do you really think that he would let you do this? He wouldn't. Iwata, it's thanks to you we're gonna ha or it's we're gonna have to thank you for the end of Nintendo. And <laughs> pretty much we may as well say the end of gaming. We really have to. Bravo. Round of applause. Bravo. Dumb ass of the year goes to you, Iwata. And there's no point in even saying, now you need to be fired. Now you need someone else to take over. Because when you were a person who was so dead set against it, now just to flip-flop it back and forth and say, oh, we're going with smartphones now. And why? Because the Wii U didn't sell as well as it could have been? Well, maybe if you did your damn job and marketed it properly, then things would have been better. Maybe if you just listened to me, things would have been better. And I know, I'm not a big shot, you know, corporate suit. I'm not a businessman, really. But that's irrelevant. Because I, it's plain, or it's blatantly obvious that I have something that you don't, Nintendo. Common sense. But whatever. It's your fucking company, Nintendo. If you want to be the ones to take it out, you created it. If you want to take it out, go for it. It's just a sad day. Let's see what else we got here. Um, <clears throat> Nintendo President talks about bringing core Nintendo IP to smart devices. As for which Nintendo IP will be used, we do not intend to make any exceptions. Potentially, any Nintendo IP could be used in our smart device software. On the other hand, as I just said, games on smart devices require ever-evolving services rather than just being a finished product. Meaning, you know, pay to win. Uh, a combined effort will be necessary to operate them. People's attention would only be dispersed if we simply increase the number of titles we simultaneously released, and we cannot expect to expand our business. Accordingly, we will narrow down the titles for development and operation to some extent. So basically, any franchise of Nintendo's you could see on smartphones and iPads. And... Uh, you know what that means, right? Of course you do, because you, my fans, actually have working brains. It means get ready for the quality of Nintendo to be completely and utterly gone. If we see Pokemon, you know, the next, you know, new from now on, Pokemon games, the new ones, next generation ones, on iPads, phones, and so forth, Pokemon dies. That's a fact. Unarguable. Written in stone. End of the line. Game over, man. Game over. It's just that simple. I don't care if iPads weren't expensive. If iPads were one dollar to buy, I would never buy one because iPads are stupid, are pathetic, are useless tablet garbage. Yet people bitch about the Wii U. Oh, the gamepad has a tablet. It's a tablet controller. Yet you have a fucking iPad. And don't lie. We all know you do bunch of casual, pathetic humans. <sighs> what else do we got? Come on, load faster. Nintendo stock soars after smartphone games announcement and new NX hardware. Nintendo seeing a nice 21% stock value increase. Well, guess what? Of course, because this kind of news would have that kind of reaction. Because Nintendo's once again... Even though Miyamoto, which I really hope Miyamoto is, is against this, and if he himself is part of this, then I don't know what to say. If Miyamoto's happy with this crap, then he has lost his touch. He's no longer the, the legend of God, or the God of gaming. He's just not. 
But now they're once again going back to casuals after they said they weren't. Because who is it that has smartphones? And I get it. I get the whole, oh, everyone out there has smartphones. Blah, 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 blah. You know, not everyone has a Wii U. That's a true statement. However, how do you honestly think every person who has a smartphone plays games on it? No. No. I've only ever had Plants vs. Zombies in one, and then it stopped working. After that, I never played another one. <sighs> Smart phones and Nintendo. That just doesn't mix. It rubs me the wrong way. And <sighs> it just makes me sick to my stomach that we're going to see the Legend of Zelda iPad edition, where, oh, you have to buy dungeons separately in little microtransaction packs. And there's people out there, oh, you're just, you're being paranoid. You're saying stuff that's not confirmed. How, do you not know me? How often am I right about things? Pretty damn often. Mark my words, this shit is coming. And we should have seen it coming with Nintendo uh, be accepting those Flappy Bird clones, like Spiky Walls or whatever on the Wii U eShop. Nintendo's just given up. I mean, they're like, oh, balls to the wall. Let's just try one last crazy thing. Let's go for the phone market. And I'm telling you straight up, Nintendo, it's not going to fucking work. Not one little bit. It's only going to blow up in your face. Repeatedly blow up in your face. And you're not going to survive it. You just won't. But, whatever. Let's, uh... See what else we got here. I don't know why it's being so slow. First Nintendo smartphone games will be released later this year. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to buy it. Why would I? Oh, wait, I don't have to because it's going to be free to play. Ha -ha! <sighs> not going to get it. And uh, DENA believes they can reach 100 million daily active users with Nintendo's IP on smart devices. I'm sure you can. But Nintendo, by doing this, you will make no profits, or next to no profits, since it's going to be free-to-play games. So you'll make these supposed, quote, games. They'll be free-to-play, and then you don't make money unless people buy the microtransaction bullshit. And all you've done is turn your back to the Nintendo fans who were bending with you since the NES, the Famicom. And now we, by you doing this... You forced our hand. We have to now leave you. We have to turn our back on you. Now, I can't speak for everyone. I'm only, I can only really speak for myself. But I'm not getting the NX console, whatever it's going to be. I'm just not. Unless for some reason it can really truly remarkably and just blow me away. or it's, Unless it's remarkable and it can truly blow me away. Which it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I don't know, Nintendo. I don't know. I just don't know. All I'll say, I'll wrap up this video by saying I'm going to go grab a shovel, and after you're done digging your own grave, and you bury your, or you lay in the grave, I'll be one of the people to cover you in dirt and say farewell, rest in peace, because that's what you're doing, Nintendo. You're literally, by doing this, you're building your own damn tombstone. It's a damn shame. The question is, will the gaming industry survive? Will Sony and Microsoft be able to survive without Nintendo? Now, don't, no, I'm not saying this is going to happen next year where Nintendo's just going to disappear. No, they'll probably last another few, you know, five years or so before they really get hit hard. But still, Nintendo, you've royally, royally fucked up. And this is something that cannot be undone. Well, once you've gone through with it anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I will wrap this video up with two simple words. And I think they're fitting. Seeing as we're talking about gaming here. Game over.